click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends. So far, we have proven that context-free languages are closed under various operations such as union, concatenation, star closure, etc. Whereas, we have seen that context-free languages are not closed under certain operations such as intersection and complementation. Now, we are going to see a new topic that is closure properties are closed under regular intersection. Let us start with that particular property. Let's see the proof. Over here, we are going to take two languages, L1 and L2. L1 is context-free, L2 is regular. As L1 is context-free, that could be identified by an NPDA and L2 is a regular language and hence it could be recognized using a DFA. Let us say M1 is the NPDA and M2 is the DFA. Based on that, we can create one NPDA which is a combination of M1 and M2 which is named as NCAP. Using this, if such a design is possible, we can say that intersection of a regular language and a context-free language is indeed context-free. We will start with the proof. Let us start with the definition of M1 and M2. Over here, I have taken M1 to be defined as Q set of states, sigma the set of alphabet, tau the set of stack symbols, delta 1 which is the transition function for machine M1, Q0 is the initial state of M1, Z is the initial stack symbol, F1 is a set of final states. Now let us define machine M2. M2 is taken as P the set of states, sigma again set of alphabets, delta 2 is the transition function, P0 is the initial state, F2 is a set of final states. L1 is accepted by an NPDA, so L1 is a context-free language. L2 is accepted by a DFA and hence L2 is a regular language. Now we are going to construct a new machine, MCAP. The components of MCAP are Q cap, sigma, tau, delta cap, which is a transition function, Q naught cap, which would be the initial state, Z is the initial stack symbol, F cap is the final states. Having defined M1 and M2, we have to express M cap in terms of M1 and M2. If we are able to express M cap in terms of M1 and M2 such that MCAP will accept any string if that string is causing a final state in both M1 and M2. We are actually achieving one machine which can recognize the strings which are the intersection of L1 and L2. That means we have designed an NPDA or a PDA which accept the intersection of a regular language and a context-free language. If that is the case, we can say that the intersection of a regular language and a context-free language is in fact context-free. Let's try to define MCAP now. The first component is QPAP, that is the set of states. Set of states of the new machine would be a combination of set of states from the first machine and the second machine. So we can say Cartesian product of set of states of M1 and set of states of M2. Over here, there are Q and P. So, Q cap would be Q cross P. 
sigma is common to all the three machines so we don't need to define it again let's see the next component which is tau tau is again same as the one for machine m1 so we don't need to define it again next component is the transition function delta cap before that let us see the initial state q0 cap initial state q0 cap must be a combination of initial state of machine m1 and initial state of machine m2 over here the initial states are q0 and p0 and hence q0 cap would be a combination of q0 and p0 the next one is set of final states our machine m cap should go to final state if both final states are achieved by machine m1 and m2 and hence we can say that f cap is a combination of f1 and f2 over here for the machine m cap we have defined the set of states q cap the alphabet sigma stack symbol tau initial state q0 cap and final states f now we need to define the transition function delta cap let us define that now Let us see the definition delta cap. It could be defined as we have a transition on state qi and let us see the definition of delta cap. We have a transition from state qi pj with a as the input symbol and b as the top of the stack with the state qk followed by pl with x as the top of the stack now if and only if we have transitions as follows with delta 1 and delta 2 what are they with delta 1 on qi with a and b we have a transition to qk with x as the top of the stack as well as from pj on a as the input we have a transition to pl that means whatever is done by machine M1 and whatever is done by machine M2, the same thing is done simultaneously and parallelly by machine M cap. Both the transitions are actually followed by machine M cap. A special case is when the input symbol is sigma is having lambda that is empty transition. In that case, we don't have such transition in DFA and hence the state would be as it is. Whenever a is equal to lambda, this implies that in the DFA, both the state pj and pl remain the same. Having defined all the component, now let us see what actually it means to be in the final state with machine m cap. Let us see how our machine works, that is M cap. From initial state Q0 followed by P0, which is a combination of states of Q1 and Q2, with the state W as the input string and Z as the top of the stack, will go to finally in QR followed by PS as the state at the end of the string with X as the top of the stack. This will happen in which case? Number one. Machine M1 starts from Q0 with W and Z, go to QR at the end of the string with X as the top of the stack. So this is actually modulating that a machine is actually following whatever is done by M1. 
similarly delta star of the machine m2 with p0 and w go to ps so our machine is following both that is machine m1 and m2 both the transitions are followed simultaneously if you follow this logic inductively we can argue that machine m cap will accept a string if and only if it is accepted by both m1 and m2 technically we can say that our npda or our pda is accepting the intersection of language l1 and l2 over here what we have proven is that given a language which is context free and one more language which is regular the intersection is finally a context free language because it is possible to design a pda for it and hence finally we can say that context free languages are closed under regular intersection so far we have proven various closure properties of context free languages now we'll be seeing more about decidable properties of context free languages thank you for watching this video stay tuned to ikida and do subscribe